Hello everybody, it has been quite a while since I recorded a video, honestly. Feels like a month or so, I could be totally wrong. But, um, just to be quick, I have been kind of taking a break from thrifting. We went thrifting for the first time in like a month or so. Um, last week, we might go thrifting today, but you guys already know, if you guys, <laughs> if we go thrifting, I will show you guys that. You'll see everything that we picked up. Um, I just haven't really been finding anything, and to be honest, um, I've kind of needed like a mental break from thrifting all the time and just kind of been a little discouraged to be honest from only finding like one thing every time we go to the thrift and that one thing is usually not even that great. So sometimes I only pick it up just because it's the only thing I find even though I don't particularly love the item. And that's kind of just been, yeah, just a little bit of a bummer for me. Um, yeah, I've kind of been taking a break from um, the vintage thrifting YouTube. I kind of want to incorporate more lifestyle things into the channel. Hopefully you guys would be okay with that. Um, I mean, I really did start off thrift um, this channel as a vlogger. Hopefully we can do more of that stuff. I did also start a second channel. You guys, if you guys watched the last video, you guys know I bought a PS5. I have been streaming some gaming content. Considering doing it on this channel, to be honest, just because having two channels, is kind of a lot of work to be honest and i have like only two subscribers on the other channel so if you guys are into like gaming um just follow my other channel at texan2 um yeah i stream warzone um and there's other games that i want to play but um besides the point yeah i mean also let me know if i start streaming like gaming stuff on this channel would you guys be okay with it um, also, Bethany and I want to start doing a podcast type of thing. Um, so that for sure will be on this channel once we figure out kind of topics and stuff. And if you guys have like questions that you think we should answer, please leave them down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, today I wanted to show you guys uh, some of my collection stuff, like true vintage collection stuff. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, some of the stuff you guys have already seen on the channel, if you've been a follower for um, quite some time you guys already know and you've already seen this stuff but kind of just putting here in one location one video um, and uh, yeah today we are showing off my uh, true vintage like Doreen jerseys um, I love these things and to be honest I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the first one that's kind of started off my little like obsession with uh, vintage Doreen jerseys I found this one for a steal um, it was advertised as like a 70s one, but I actually believe this one is a 40s Tigers Doreen jersey. I just love this material, super comfortable, super breathable. Um, and to be honest, I have not even worn this one yet, but this one is my absolute favorite one. I did have to do a couple repairs on like the uh, printing here, not the print, the, uh, I don't know, the graphic, the... <laughs> What the, what the heck do you call it? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like kind of like this felt material. Love these colors. It's like golden yellow, blue. Really, really love this one. It fits perfectly. And honestly, yes, I have not worn it because I'm a little scared to be honest. It's a little more fragile than I would like. Yeah, so that's the first one. And then just quickly going down, this one is like, I believe like a 60s or a 70s one. This one is kind of out of my comfort zone because it's purple. Um, but I really loved the fit here. That's it's a little bit cropped, um, and I loved the distressing here. I didn't bother fixing this one because um, I kind of thought it was okay. It says 22 mel. This one's all screen printed, so a little different. Definitely a little newer. This one obviously is a fraternity. Um, so most of these are probably like fraternities and then we have this one This is one of the recent ones. You guys have already seen this in a video. We have the 60s Kerr 9 Han 2032 um, On the 60s Mason tag could potentially be 50s. I think I don't know you guys let me know down below in the comments But same type of material just different color um, That one fits pretty good this one. I love this one I want to say this one is honestly probably like a 50s or a 60s one um, it is on the, uh, Dirac, 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 Dirac tag there. This one, this is a little bit of a different, um, color blocking situation, but I love this one. East Spartan Christian, Sparta Christian, 22, yet again, Randy, shout out to you guys. Same type of material. Love this one. That's a good one. I believe this one is actually like, uh, 70s because it's kind of got a, the uh, generic like 70s 70s tag there if you guys can see there you go this one yet again red 
This one's definitely a different type of material um, for the lettering. It is like that synthetic type material. I don't even know how to call it. It's like almost like nylon-y. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then mark on the back. I think particularly this style of Doreen jersey is my favorite where it's got like the elastic cuff and then it's got like the ribbing type material here. Um, yeah, this kind of cut is my favorite. This one was a long sleeve. I picked it up because one, I like the colorway, maroon, yellow, yet again, white. Um, and another number 26 is pretty significant to me. So love this one. This one was definitely a long sleeve. You can tell it was kind of like cut off here and I don't mind it. I do wear this one. Um, this is actually one of the only ones I've worn, to be honest. Um, I've worn like one other one maybe two, to be honest, um, because I have a hard time styling these, to be honest, when it's cold out. It is still winter here, so it's a little hard to style these. I don't particularly love how they look like under a jacket, and it almost like defeats the purpose of wearing it because you can't even really see it. Um, so if I'm at home, sometimes I'll wear them. But this one, I did uh, some repairs here. I had a, fun, a lot of fun doing the repairs here. It kind of like inspired me to get back into repairs and like learn my sewing machine again. So I repaired that one. And then um, you can see another little repair here on the sleeve. This thing was super thrashed and I wasn't planning on repairing it. I was kind of gonna kind of just wear it as is, but uh, ended up repairing it. And that one's, love that one. This one is also a newer one. Um, you guys have seen it in one of the recent videos. Sanctum, love this one. Is definitely thought this was like yellow and uh, navy yet again, but this is more of like a black. And if it's navy, it's super dark, but love this one. This one's on the 60s Rawlings tag. I believe this is 60s, potentially 70s, if you guys can see it there. Um, yeah, this one's got like the flock lettering right here. And this one is screen printed, like in that super thick material. Love it. These things, honestly, they're just so comfortable to wear and they're so breathable. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever looked into Doreen jerseys, um, but they're, yeah, just, I love the material. It just feels nice. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to put it on that. And then we have the 60s long sleeve one. This one's like a football jersey. Love this one. This one's, uh, I love like the yellowing and the cream on this one. Love this pop of blue on the lettering here. This one does not have... Um, well, it does have a tag, but it's pretty faded here. The General Athletic, I believe, from like the 60s. And it's got like the elbow padding here. Love that little detail. It's like pretty subtle, to be honest. This one's like a three-quarter sleeve one, but love it. I'm excited to wear these ones in like the spring and the summertime because, um, like I said, I think that's kind of like the time to wear these things. And spring and summer are coming up, so... Yeah, and this one, you guys saw this one in one of the previous videos yet again. Um, this one is the Pythians. I don't know how to pronounce that. But this one is like super thick. Honestly, it feels like dead stock. Like it doesn't even feel like it's been worn. And definitely this is like a thicker, softer Doreen type material on this is like a 50s or 60s, I believe also Mason's tag there. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too much in detail. I showed this one off already. But uh, that is my collection of Doreen jerseys so far. If you guys wanna see something else, I'm definitely gonna do like a true vintage sweat video, I guess. Um, I don't really have many to be honest and I'm considering selling uh, a couple, if not most of them. I don't really have a lot. I have maybe four to be honest. Um, I did sell one. Um, and I have a couple more. I could be totally wrong, but I'm just babbling at this point. Anyways, if we go thrifting, you guys will see that content. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys are into gaming, please follow my second channel at Texan2. Um, follow my Instagram at MilesTexan. Follow my vintage page at Shop Just Some Things. You guys already know. Um, we are trying to get to 1,500 subscribers um, is my next goal. I'm probably just gonna do increments of 500, to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, sweet, <laughs> on, on to the next thing. All right, everybody, we are going to Goodwill today. It is the half off day, but certain color only, unfortunately, um, as I say, pretty much every time we go on Sunday, um, we're not planning on staying very long there. We have some errands to run. Um, we gotta get some groceries for dinner and just kind of meal prep for the week, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But you guys already know, I take you guys along to the thrift store whenever we go because we have not been going too much, so hopefully we can find something good. If not, then maybe we need another break. All right, y'all, 
made it in so far. Nothing. Ooh. Cool little iridescent jacket there. I'm gonna check on jackets. Ooh. Hello. Hello there. Oh, that's a cool little denim piece. Denim shorts. <laughs> I feel like everybody's staring at my camera today. <laughs> Could not see the histogram to check my exposure. I don't know. Looks like jackets is not the move anymore because it is going to be getting warmer here. So, yeah, Let's take a peek. All right, they have this TNT tag in Mexico. A and W. Bethany loves A and W root beer. This ringer tea got a couple stains on it. I don't know. Potentially, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not really found anything so far. I've only been in here for like 10 minutes, and I'm kind of already got a bad feeling, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I've not, I've not found a good tea in a while, it feels like. Um, I'm about to list some good stuff on Depop, if you guys wanna follow me, at Shop Just Some Things. Um, I'll be posting uh, one of the rarest teas that I've had, to be honest. Um, <laughs> this would've been good for St. Patrick's Day. But that passed, apparently, I did not even realize Well, this should be a fairly quick trip. I'm going to assume here. Um, nope, 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 not find anything t-shirt wise now we're in the pants section let's hope we can find something cool already not looking the greatest so much denim though they literally changed up the whole layout of this store so there's a lot more room for pants um but i still have not found anything good since they've changed it those are nice, but I don't want them. <laughs> no boundaries. Those are kind of cool, but uh, we're not going to buy those. We're not going to get those. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Hey, okay, y'all. I know somebody knows what this is. Basket case Levi's. That's a really cool print. Um, I don't know, honestly, know if these are real or anything. They are real Levi's for sure. They feel... I mean, they're 505s, not my size, but I think I'm going to buy them and uh, we'll see. We'll see, I haven't found much, but I really like the graphic cowboy <laughs> print on here. So yeah, if you guys know anything about basket case, please let me know down below in the comments because literally I'm clueless, but I know I've heard about it before. It's probably some sort of streetwear designer brand. And uh, yeah, did you find anything? Holy smokes, what the heck is all this? Oh, these are kind of cute. These are nice. What is, what is this? Dog training ramp. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Bethany found some dog training stuff that she wants to buy. <laughs> oh boy. Kids are getting cranky. You didn't find anything else though? I haven't, really, I haven't really found anything. Oh yeah, that's not vintage, but it's still cool. Nicely faded Star Wars for Landon. It's not vintage or anything, but. All right, you guys, I found one thing in the button up section, the 70s. It's like carnival food <laughs> type colorway, but nice and soft material. It's 100% acrylic, so it's like probably 70s, I guess. All right, guys, checking the sweaters here. Hopefully I can find something cool. I have been wanting a cool, find a good sweat oh my gosh and here we go right here dude yes 
we did it. Detroit Lions, dude. I wish they would have played the Super Bowl, but that's okay. They did really well. That was pretty sick. This is definitely like a 80s or a 90s one. Good size, too. Sweet. Happy about that one. Myla's not, though. She's crying. All right, you guys. I've been wanting a true vintage, like, red hoodie. Um, but this one is like a 90s Russell made in Mexico. Um, I don't think I'm going to get it. But if you guys have one for sale and you're not asking a zillion dollars, please let me know. Please. All right, guys. I don't usually pick up this kind of stuff, but I found a keyboard. A little red dragon keyboard. Super nice and clicky. I kind of like it. This looks like it needs a little cleaning. Oh, it doesn't have a number pad though. All right guys, we are back with a quick recap. Um, didn't really find too much, but um, we found these basket case Levi's. I don't know if they're real. Um, somebody tell me about basket case, but either way, I feel like somebody will probably buy this on Depop. Loved the screen printing on here, cowboy. Kind of wish it was a little more than just that, but I mean, it is what it is, whatever. Nothing crazy, obviously, since especially because I don't know anything about it. And then we have this 70s like carnival print flannel acrylic from the 70s. I said already uh, VIP, I think VIP world. I don't know, tag, something like that, whatever. Feels pretty soft. Kind of like it. Maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. And then the best thing that we found is this like 80s or 90s Detroit Lions. Um, this is kind of like a graffiti metallic type print there super cool and uh that's pretty much it i found this mechanical keyboard red dragon i love the clicky sounds we're gonna see if this works and we're gonna swap out my white keyboard but uh yeah that pertains to nothing else but if you guys made it this far please like and subscribe i know it's been a little while um the gap between videos will probably be a little bit more um just because um taking in a little break in between is pretty nice to be honest um and i don't feel so much pressure to make content um as much that way because honestly i feel like i was kind of going to the thrift store just to make content like i didn't even necessarily want to go i just wanted to record stuff which is why i also mentioned in the beginning of the video that i would like to in include more lifestyle things um just because i feel like i do that every day every week like i'm guaranteed to do more lifestyle content than go to the thrift store um so yeah anyways don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and thank you so much we'll see you guys in the next video okay thank you bye taking no words back silence would suffice for you well i'm leading my honesty i can't watch the only way you win by making me cry walking